Hi guys, this is Servimad and welcome back to Road to Eden. Uh, as you might be able to see, we are at the base and I thought I would take this episode just to give you an update of a few of the little things around the base um, before we head over to the new base uh, to electrify it a little bit. All right, so what I have done, obviously, you can see I've added uh, these this fence all the way around. This means I can shoot uh, the all the mobs at a distance. Not great, uh, but it's it's better than the windows. Uh, and also, I think this, we definitely don't need to go any higher. So it really is a great view. So we can see everything and really enjoy the sun. And I uh, used those roofs from many, many moons ago <laughs> to put up here. I don't know why, but they wouldn't go the other direction. I really wanted them to go the other direction. But, you know, the water pours into the house. What can you, what can you do? All right. So the other thing I wanted to discuss was this... Uh, windmill. So we built the windmill. Now, um, I don't know if you remember a couple of episodes ago, I was talking about doing the sulfur in the windmill. But one of the main things you can do is mortar. So if you are looking for mortar, you make it in the windmill. Okay, good. So there's the uh, sulfur, cornstarch, flour and mortar. The windmill. Um, all right, so the other things that I wanted to... Oh, yes, that's right. The planters. Uh, I, I briefly discussed them a couple of episodes ago. Let's whack on the light just so we can see them properly. But there are the indoor plants. Now, they only grow one thing at a time, or in this case, two beans. So we can pick those. Uh, and onions we're going to need for a recipe I want to try. Oops, no, I want the peppers. All right, good. So now I want to plant some seeds. So you can see how easy it all is. We don't need carrots. Peppers for fajitas. Uh, we don't need lettuce at the moment. Can't make burgers yet. Let's put a carrot in. Okay, so one, two, three... So to water the indoor plants, you need the buckets of water, which can just be filled up up the top. So let's whack in. Actually, there we go. Right. So a little bit fiddly, but all you need to do is put a seed across, click on the seed, add it. You'll see the water level and you'll notice that we grew the plant and the water level didn't go down. So, oh yeah, that's right, because you have to go backwards and forwards. Okay, and then water it. Boom. And, oh, whoops. Don't do that, because that just destroyed the seed. So, let's put another onion seed in. Not raw, uh, no, onion seed. I don't, oh, hang on. Let's get out of here just to make sure. Did it roll the seed? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it didn't. Okay. Plant seed. Okay, it mustn't have done it. All right, good. Excellent. So there we go. Seed. I want onion. Put some water. Now, don't roll the seed. Whatever you do, because that will destroy the seed. It will enable you to um, place something else in it, but it will destroy the seed. Okay. And let's just finish off here. Uh, carrot. Yes. No, just transfer one. Carrot. Boom. Back. Water, water, good. And that water should last for a couple of uh, seeds. So let's do the pepper. Now the pepper, <laughs> the first time I thought, ah, oh, pepper, like in their packets. But no, it's the green peppers, because of course we call them capsicums in Australia. <laughs> oh, righty then. Okay, so let's whack these back. Oops, not the green beans. We will put that here, put these here. Now we have an onion. This is very important because I want to make some fajitas. All right. Oh, and I left in some of the things that we, I have made. So we have this pasta bolognese, which you saw uh, when we were building on the rocks. Uh, bowl of salad as you quite imagine it's probably not as filling as the others <laughs> we've got the tuna salad 
the kebab you make in the uh, flimsy barbecue. So where is it here? Again, not a, not a, a major filler, but uh, good good weight wise. And so and I haven't made the fajitas yet. So we need an onion. Where's the onion? Put that over there, and we will try out the fajita. So we need to give it power. Craft. Uh, yeah, it does silly things like that. Craft. Okay, let's wait for that. That's going to be a little while. Now, with the electric uh, tier things, you don't need to wait near them. So, so only the base level things do you need to wait near for it to, to make whatever it's making. So we'll have that for food just to test because I haven't actually tried it out yet. Uh, while we're doing that, I we need to put together some of the things that we're going to take. So the first thing we need is battery. So let's whack this on, click on this. No, not that one, that one, craft. Yep, good. And that one's pretty quick. So while we're doing that, we also want to take with us um, a dew collector. Now, I really, really look forward to the day there is a search function on this because my eyes get very confused. But there we go. Dew uh, collector underway. Uh, the battery is created. Uh, the things that will take a bit of time are these fluorescent tubes. I want to take two of those. So we'll set those going. As you can see there, they do take a little bit of time. Uh, and the other thing we will make when we get back here is uh, a portable solar station. So those are on. Let's go and check our food. Uh, fajitas all most ready. Now I have prepared... Uh, weight wise <laughs> knowing that we don't have a lot of uh, weight but we're going to carry all these things across hopefully so three fajitas on this occasion for uh, that recipe let's try out one of them let's see so we're all we're down here let's e that eh, not too bad we can have two of those so not the greatest but uh, all good. Okay. Oh, and we better have some water. Uh, let's go over here. I've prepared the weight, so I don't want to use those. So we'll, we'll use these big bottles. Okay, good. All right. So there we go. Put you away. Now, what else do we have to talk about? So the plants are underway and they will grow quickly too, by the way, those plants. They, um, uh, oh, and you can turn these, these stations on. I keep forgetting that you can, when they're on, they have lights on. There we go. <laughs> anyway, all right. So <laughs> little things, little things. Okay. So what have we got? Uh, one down. All right. While that one's building, we can go back and I want to show you about electricity. So to build with electricity, you need to have three components. You need to have this portable solar station. You need to have a battery, which will store what comes in, uh, and obviously the thing that uses it. Now, first things first, you need, you need if you press F, on top of this you can see how far it goes now that's amazing i could pretty much put this in the center of the base and it will charge anything theoretically unfortunately what i've noticed is it only will charge one or two depending on size that's why i went um for the bigger one out of the two this smaller one over here yeah, I, I've tried to charge multiple, li uh, keep multiple lights on and use uh, the carpentry station and it doesn't work. Um, it doesn't charge the two batteries that we have here. So we've got this battery and this battery over here. They don't get charged. So it's um, a bit of fiddling around with the charging. But with these batteries, then since this is in the sphere of influence of that solar panel, the battery pack gets smaller so that's why i opted for the bigger battery to take with us i want to cover the whole base because i really want to get floodlights 
in there to see if I can capture a, um, a horde event. So that's how far it stretches, which is, encompasses this station. So that means we can use the power from this battery on this station. And even though most of this fluorescent light is outside, because there's a little bit touching it, it will work. So keep that in mind when you're playing around with electricity. All right, so uh, not interactable. Yes, I'm pressing F. Okay, so this guy and this guy are in this uh, in this vicinity and this battery pack is pretty good. The flimsy ones, eh, not so good, not so good. This one, yeah. But uh, it gets me through the night. I've got three battery packs and two solar and I can get through and craft. All right, so we've now got two of these. The last thing we want is solar power. So let's have a quick check of our weight. Doing quite well at the moment. Make sure we've got everything. So the inventory, so what have we added? We have the Jew Collector, we have a large um, thingy, we have two lights, and now we have the solar power. Good, we have plenty of weight at the moment. We also will take with us a medium farming plot and these blue crystal shards. The blue crystal shards will um, actually... Oh, I don't, oh, it leaves it on, that's okay, good. All right, uh, the blue crystal shards we need later on. Um, when we find out where this dungeon is, that's where apparently we can craft the blue crystal keys that are going to be used in the specialty things. All right, so we have 13 kilos left. I'm not taking a lot of ammo, but now that I see that uh, we have some space, I'm going to up that. So let's take some more shotgun shells and some 50 cal. And then we will, uh, we need more food. Food and water will get us there. We do have food and water there, but let's take some of these fancy dishes with us. No, you don't need to be on. Um, what about these? How's our weight? Good, 92. Uh, and then let's take, yeah, because I took out all of these orange. These things are surprisingly heavy. Let's take a few more batteries over there. We'll actually, can we take them all? Yeah, oh, good. Look at that. Take all of them. And a little more of these because I'm sure we'll need those once we find the dungeon. Excellent. 97. Uh, actually, will we need those? No, if we have enough batteries. All right. That's good. We have all the components that I want. We have food, we have water. All right, let's get over to the new base. Okay, guys, I was just giving my guy a bit of a break here because, and I remembered that a couple of episodes ago, I said that the gate was quite easy to get through without actually firing a shot. So I thought I would give it a shot this time, and maybe if it works, you can see it. <laughs> it works every time when you're not here, I swear. <laughs> All right, part one done. And then, uh, and so the easy part really is when you get over to this side because there are some gates there. So no dramas. Hi. And we're through. There we go. No shot fired. And we are through. All right, guys. Thought you'd enjoy that. Anyway, uh, I will see you at the base. All right, guys. We are almost home. Getting a little bit on for time in the day, but we made it here. Nice little jog. I definitely found a good path between the, the black lizards. However, I really am considering changing houses based on the how loud our neighbors are, oh my God. All right, <laughs> so we are here. First things first, 
Let's empty out the food. Let's put it in. Oh, actually, what we need to do is put this last... Yeah, here we go. This one. We need... Oh. Okay. I've never seen them start on that angle before, but anyway, there we go. All right. Our... Uh, our box of boxes, our uh, shelf of boxes. So let's put the food in the food container. Uh, and we'll put this here because we will need it once we put up our uh, thingy, our uh, dew collector. I don't think, I might, have I got ammo here? Yeah, I might have an ammo can, oops. <laughs> Oopsies. Uh, okay, yeah, of course, I keep forgetting. You can keep putting uh, the same thing in to a box, but you cannot put new things. So let's put those back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have an ammo container up the top here. Uh, so, yeah. So you, we can stack this. Ooh, don't. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so we'll top this up because this will be our uh, a staging point when we go further to the, what is it? To the east, this will be a staging point. So that'll get us home, no problem. Let's put the 50 cal in here as well. So we've got lots of 762. Uh, yeah, let's leave all the 762 here. In fact, we could pretty much leave this the weapon here. Anyway, so we've topped up that. Let's put the sausages in the food as well. So we've got a good little base here, food-wise, to stop at. Now, obviously, I'm not always going to be here with you guys because uh, it's, uh, yeah. All right. There we go, good. So there, there. Now, let's get upstairs before we lose all the light. And now, first Jew Collector. Now, the Jew Collector, I'm going to put it in the dead center. Ah, uh, but I will face it because we'll come up the stairs more often for, oh. You know what? We'll put it there for the moment. But now I just, uh, you know what? Let's move it. I want to have the, the solar right in the middle. Probably won't make a huge difference um, as far as this base goes, but let's make sure. So we'll put the solar panel that way. Click on it. Oh, yeah doesn't make a scrap of difference in fact we can have oh the, the if we put those floodlights outside boom kitty boom in fact we might even move it a bit further anyway i'm getting carried away we'll play with that later anyway there is the sphere of influence so when we build up here later and we have um we build our stations up here we'll move this to the next level and the lighting downstairs will get affected. But uh, anyway, because it only does two levels. Anyway, let's put the collector up here. I don't want that in harm's way. But I also don't want it. You know what? Let's face it this way. And maybe we can collect halfway up the stairs. <laughs> we'll cheat and get halfway up the stairs and just boom. Yeah. All right. So, collector here. So we have water, we have food. We now, ooh, we now need power. So the battery station. Now, I, I turned off. Yeah, let's turn that off. Oh, have we got a friend? No? Okay, hearing things. All right, let's turn that off because I really want to see. I am curious. This is the first one of these battery packs I built. There is someone outside. Oh, well. Time to see. Let's put it here. And let's see how far it, it uh, stretches. Ah, not that good. Not that good at all. 
So we're going to have to put her in the dead center, I think. I was hoping it would uh, be a lot wider. All right. So, well, let's put it in the dead center. We can play around with the specifics once we've actually seen where it goes. We'll put you there. We'll leave the crowbar because I think we're going to need it. Let's put it in the center. Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, well, you know what I said about the... The lights, as long as they touch it. So we should be okay. So let's move it just a touch back. And we'll make this the centerpiece of the house. <laughs> All right. Oh, actually, how many levels does it... No, no, I don't want it to get damaged outside. All right. Uh, five. Let's put it... How about here? How does that go? Uh, and... All right. All right. We're going to have to bite the bullet and put it right in the center. We will put it here and be done with it because there. I think that's the main things we're going to be interested in. So if we put a light here, we can see here, a light here. All right. So what we want is a light over here. I know we have the campfire, but... Um, okay, one there and maybe one here for the moment so we can see the stairs and everything all right so how are we doing okay it's got two percent we can do a quick test now this is going to hold a lot of charge so we should be right any time we come in here oh look at that lovely jubblies there we go now how much is that sucking out of it I just am interested because we've got the... Oh, look, it's actually going up. Boom. All right, so with that guy up the top, because he's uh, he's good enough to... What's, he, what's this one worth? I think it's um, the medium. There, this one. This one. 15. Uh, VA, I'm not sure what that is, um, some kind of electrical term. Um, 15, which means that we've got two lights on. This is a good test. Two lights on. And, oh, down the stairs, thank you. Two lights on, and it is going up in power. So we could uh, quite happily build a, a carpentry station right here, and uh, we can use it. So we may not even need to worry about a next level because if we just have a carpentry station, a meat table, uh, and a food table, I don't think we'll need... Uh, we might need a, a weapons bench. Yeah. Anyway, there you go, guys. We have done it. Not only do we have light, uh, but we have endless power currently. Good. All right, guys. Today's going to be a short one. All I wanted to do was test out that large battery uh, and electrify this base because apparently we are going to be spending a lot of time there now that we have explored all of the beginner zone and soon, hopefully, zone three will start to open up and we will get lots more. But that doesn't mean we still don't have lots more P POIs to explore because next next episode, we are going to head in this direction. I wanna head down this road uh, and see what we can find. Obviously, I'm gonna go back to the base and collect a few things before we do that. But guys, once again, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, I hope you like, uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to tickle the bell if you want to get regular updates. All right, guys, thanks again for joining me and I hope to see you next time.